Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today we're going to talk about CC Cycle 3, Week 22, Hands-On Science Experiment, and this is on page 269 in your Foundations Guide, and it's called Blueberry Pancakes. So we're continuing our study of probability, and today we're going to talk about some new words like distribution and what an outlier is. And so, you read through what the guide says and it'll kind of walk you through it. Um, so far we've been talking about pretty easy probabilities, you know, whether we're going to flip a coin or, you know, the pizza combinations we did last week. Now we're going to talk a little bit about something a little bit more complicated as far as the probability, um, but it's the distribution of blueberries in pancakes. So. Imagine we have enough batter to make six pancakes and we have 15 blueberries. You can get their thoughts, the students' thoughts. Okay, is it going to be, is each pancake going to get the same number of blueberries? That's basically what we want to figure out. Is that even possible? It's not really possible because it's not an even number of blueberries. So we know it's not going to be even, um, but that's kind of what we want to see. So you're going to either need a whiteboard or um, pieces of paper. So I just, you can set up a whiteboard kind of like this for everyone to work off of. And I just drew six circles and numbered them one through six. And you're going to need a dice. A die. Um, you can make sheets like this or you could just draw out six circles and number them. We'll need to make sure that they're numbered. Um, I think I just made this real quickly uh, one year we did this so then they can um, color in the blueberries or you could put something like this in a, a protective sleeve and use dry erase markers. Um, one year I got real fancy and I used felt and cut out pancakes and lots of blueberries. So, But it doesn't have to be that complicated. You could just work through the whole thing on a whiteboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our dice to roll and tell us which we're going to do one at we're going to place the blueberries one at a time and our dice is going to tell us which pancake to put it in. And so ask them how many sides are on a dice. There are six sides and so you can go ahead and bring in your discussion of probability. So like what is the probability if I roll this dice? that I'll get a one. And you can do that up on the board real quick. So how many total sides are there? How many possible outcomes are there? There's six, so that goes on the bottom. If I wanna get a one, well only one of the sides has a one on it. So there's a one out of six chance that I will get a one. But what if I wanna roll a five? Well, if you look at the dice, only one of the sides has a five on it. So it's the same probability. So get them to think about that. So there's an even chance that I will get any of these numbers when I roll the dice. And we're going to see, does that mean that each pancake will be, get about the same number of blueberries or not? So I'll do this real quick. I'll roll it 15 times and I'll mark which one. I'll put a blueberry how much what it is. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, Fourteen. Fifteen. 
All right, so that's what I got when I rolled 15 times. And if you wanna do this on like a big whiteboard for the whole class, you can have each student take a turn to roll the dice um, until you get up to 15 and kind of get them interacting that way or they could have their own pancakes sheet with pancakes and they could work on this on their own. Um, but you could do it all together as a demonstration and then have them sit down and do their own pancakes and, and compare the results. But as we look at these pancakes here, this is what I rolled. Now we're going to talk about a new word, distribution. So, which is in our foundations guide is the, at the bottom of the page, the pattern of your results or your probabilities. So it's like the pattern. And so how things are distributed like if we sprinkle them on is it is it pretty even is it very different um, so you'll notice that some pancakes have no blueberries this number five has a lot of blueberries and the number two and three and six well they're they're pretty close these have three blueberries and these have two so talk about your results and your results will probably be a little different than mine um, but what do they notice? How many, so you could ask questions. Okay, how many pancakes had more than four blueberries? Well, we just had one. How many pancakes had less than four blueberries? So one, two, three, four, five of them had less than four. How many had exactly four? Well, in this example, none of the ones that I, um, bold had four blueberries. So based on this, you can ask some questions. Okay, what is the chance that I would get a pancake with three blueberries? And the guy to ask how many, um, what's your chance of getting one with four blueberries? Um, but in this case, it would be a zero chance because none of ours have uh, four blueberries. But if I were to ask, okay, what's our chance of getting a pancake? If this was our results and I gave you just one of these pancakes, what is the probability that you would get one with three blueberries? So our total number that goes at the bottom would be six. And then we have two pancakes um, that have three blueberries. So our probability would be two out of six chances. And the guy suggests that you can roll the dice again um, another 15 times and see how the distribution changes or if it's the same like if this one just stays you know the most uh, overall or if it gets a little more even the more we roll the dice um, so another word we're going to talk about is an outlier and an outlier is a result that doesn't seem to fit the pattern and I'm just reading here at the bottom of the guide it's got those definitions so an outlier doesn't fit the pattern. And so I would say that this one here that has seven blueberries is an outlier. It's a little unusual. Um, and probably maybe these are outliers as well because they don't have any blueberries at all. And so that's what we're talking about today. Um, so have them do this on their own. You can do it together as a group. Roll your dice. Kind of tie in your discussion of probability you can talk about okay what's the probability i'm going to roll one do your fraction one out of six and then just see what you get so distribution is just your pattern of your results and if it looks even or not um interesting to note you know even though we had an even chance of rolling any of these numbers we we seem to roll a five a lot more often or at least i did and just take note of, of any things like that um, and see if you do roll another 15 times and have 30 blueberries, how that changes how this looks. Um, if some of them tend to have more than others or if it's um, more even. So a lot of this is just comparing results and talking about it and noticing if there's some that seem to don't fit the pattern. Some that have a lot or maybe some that have none at all. And um, that's it for week 22. I'll see you guys soon.